Hey y'all, welcome to my YouTube channel. It's my first ever video, and I'm here with my best friend, so that's Hi. pretty special. Um, we're, as you can, you can't see that. <laughs> you can tell we're a newbie, or I'm a newbie. You can kind of see the ear chart. It's just a little bit Okay, so we're just gonna be doing some a bunch of stuff on the ear chart, and you guys are gonna see which one you think is the best, and then we might even give a well, tutorial or, on it. Yeah, we can, we can teach y'all, we're gonna be teaching y'all, like, um, how to hold your handstand for Yeah, longer. how to hold your handstand, how to do a cartwheel, how to do... Just the basics. Yeah, just the basics. Probably like a level one. Um, I don't think we're going to go on level two. We're going to start off... Well, level two is not that hard. That's like yeah. actual cartwheels and stuff. Level one's doing your forward roll, backward roll, and maybe getting like a donkey kick in or something. But just, if, you, if you're not good at this, you're fine. We're teaching you everything, so... And if you don't have a mat, I would not prefer you do it because you can some things your... you can some things you can like a forward like, roll or a backward roll but or, once we or get even a cartwheel more, yeah or once we get to the more trickier stuff you might fall or something and we don't want you to get hurt maybe even do it on like a cushiony cut like something like that and you can even you can even practice doing a handstand on a wall or like on the couch and then you like go into like if you're learning how to do like like what is it called again front limber? Mm, a front limber um, you can practice on your couch. Just, you can do a yeah. handstand and then fall back on your couch instead of instead of just doing kind of what looks like a front walkover, but it's not. Yeah, a front so. walkover is basically a handstand bridge stand up, and a front walkover you actually do like the step into it. But we're gonna get into that later. So we're gonna start off with just the basics, like front roll, backward roll, maybe a donkey kick. And then that's the first level, and then we're gonna move on to the second level. Maybe even the third. We'll see. Okay. So, uh, by the way, she she might be better at some of the stuff than I am because she's a gymnastic. She's in gymnastics. Yeah, I'm a gymnast. So I'm yeah. Okay. So you did first, and then. So basically, a forward roll. Probably the easiest thing you'll know. Hands up, kind of bend down, and you look at your stomach. So you just go weak and roll. Okay. We're gonna get some nice tips for that and stuff. Um, sorry. That's alright. So like, hands in the air, like you just don't care, no. Like that. But hands that better? in the air, yeah, that's good. And then, like, squat down so you're on the floor, and look at your stomach, because you really want to tuck your head, so you don't, like, break your neck or something, and then you just push off of your feet, and roll, like, make sure you're turning your and, body. And <laughs> it, and it should look like, once you, once you add all the stuff together. Once you add all the stuff together, it should look like and you can, you don't have to stand up right away. I've just been doing this forever. So stand, you can use your hands, but to be able to push with your hands. Sorry about that, okay. So just, you can go here, but to get standing up, you wanna pull your body up, so. Your like skin comes out like this, so you can like actually pull up. But oh, <laughs> thanks, Ad. We we're about to do a dance. Okay, it's like my favorite so, dance. I'm just gonna have. Okay. So once you get it all together and you're able to stand up, it will be like this. It's pretty, pretty simple once you get the hang of it. It, I can, it can be tricky at first, but. You've got this. You wanna to try to do it? Try to do your forward roll? Um, yeah, hold on, I wanna do the stance. Okay. Oh, yeah. yeah, so we also have music on, just. Yeah. So I was doing it the wrong way. This is just a bunch of gymnastic stuff if you're trying to learn it. If you're trying to learn it. So we're gonna have other tricks and stuff also. I recommend wearing like, I'm wearing athletic pants, uh, a crop top, and like my necklace is tucked in and my hair up. That's probably the best thing to do unless it's like really hot and you're doing it outside, then wear shorts. But, oh. Um, okay, so, yeah. And if you have glasses, I would really prefer you try to do it. Like if you're a beginner, yeah, you, you can break, break them. them. <laughs> um, I'm, I'm just gonna. Okay. Right. <laughs> and then you tuck. <laughs> yeah. So you can 
also land like she did. If you don't have, if you can't stand up, just land. You did your forward And also, roll. like, whenever you're doing, like, a But once wheel, you're trying to do it, like, into... Yeah, she's way better than it. Once you're trying to, like, add stuff into it, you can go... You need to stand up yeah. to be able to do it. So if you're trying to get farther and farther into your stuff, you definitely want to be able to stand up. And also, uh, whenever you're doing, like, a handstand, uh, like, whenever you're, like feet are up in the air, you always want to point your toes. Yeah, it should, you don't have to as a beginner, but if you, if you look at this video and like, you're trying you to were, perfect everything, you want to point your toes and squeeze your stomach in, and like, just be tight, like. It'll okay. Hurt. Okay, so now I'm gonna be teaching y'all how to do a handstand. Okay, back. Oh, back for <laughs> We're not onto level two yet. And then we're gonna do. Kicks. She can teach the first level, I'll teach the second level. And we're both gonna help each other. She's like better at it than you. Okay, backward roll. So it's basically the same thing, just going backwards. I know some people don't have the courage to. It took me a very long time to master this, but I was also like two, so. So hands in the air, just like you started for the other one. And you're gonna squat down just like you did before. Just squat down, you're here, and you wanna put your hands, it's called like a pizza hand or something. But when you go back, the floor is gonna hit it and you just wanna be able to push off. Okay. So, you roll. I, I'm, trying, I'm trying not to stay in the air, but, okay. And then we also have Ellie here. She's gonna be helping us a little bit. Um, But you wanna, it's hard to teach this, but uh, hands like, you, they're gonna hit the floor and you're gonna push off of them and roll. So. Hands are by your ears. Roll. Okay. May I show them that again? Okay. Uh, so, here's it again. Yeah, that's better. Roll, hands by your ears, and hold down your knees. And then, once you get better and better, you can push off your toes and stand up, just like this. It's not that awesome, but... Because okay. I'm on, like, back extension. So, so I'm I not think used we to have... It. Is it the second level? Or is it? Uh, I have one more. Yeah. The so, donkey kick. Donkey kick. This is just preparing you for your handstand. Hands in the air and your good foot's gonna be in front. I was like a ballerina doing that. <laughs> uh, so you're just gonna kick and switch your feet in the air. This is called a donkey kick. It's just like a handstand, you're just not holding it and you're switching your legs. So, switch. And you can even go like this. Okay, that's just, your hands go on the floor, and you push off your foot. And then you land how you did, and hands go back in the Okay. Okay. Now so we're going on to level two. Now it's me. Okay. Thank you. Know. Okay. So which one should we do first? Handstand? Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. So during the handstand, you want to have a great posture. So you have to be like parallel. And you want to like squeeze your stomach, and you don't want it to just be... You don't want yeah, and, also, yeah. and also, this might sound a little funny, but you also have to squeeze in your butt. Yeah, it might sound a little funny, but it helps, like, squeeze, make yeah. sure your whole Cause body's it, tight. Because your arms are by your like ears. Like, parallel. And toes pointed. Um, by the way, I'm not really fluent because I stopped gymnastics, but it'll be okay. So you should, like, I don't know if I should do it sideways so they can see my parallel. Or, or here, we can, like, it's fair. Okay, so... And like, if you want to like challenge yourself a little more, like you can point your toes like that. Um, and yeah. So, kind of something like that. So, I'm gonna show them really quick. Just yeah, kind of something, kind of something like this. Like how you did your uh backward roll, you want your arms to be by your ears the whole time you're in your handstand. You, even when you're coming up, you don't want your arms here. You don't want your arms here, 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 here. So you want them like this. You want them to be like this. Put your toe, kind of kick into it, and squeeze. Okay, so once you can hold it, it'll look like this. And then you can walk. Do whatever you want after that. And then, and you see how I landed like this, you don't want to do that. You want to go, kind of like what I'm about to 
teach you about like cartwheels and round offs. Round you want your arms to be by your ears the whole time in case you get to your round off okay, by transferring so, your arms to be by your ears. So that was a